Well hello and welcome back to Chellington Valley. As you can see it's been raining here and at the moment our crops are still too wet to harvest so that could cause us a bit of issues we're gonna have to speed up some time and kind of do some other stuff in between until our crops are ready to harvest hopefully by midday now I'm going to pull up the weather report very quickly on the tablet just to show you it doesn't look like it's going to rain again today until nine o'clock in the evening which is good because that gives us some time and we can hopefully get a couple of our fields harvested we've got some rain coming in tomorrow afternoon from the looks of things as well and then we've got Wednesday Thursday Friday before the really heavy rain and storms hit in so it's going to take some thinking we might have to call in some help but I'm determined we will get this harvest done Here it is this is what I hope might be our new harvester on the farm it's a New Holland CR585 and it's got a I think this is a 30 foot header that comes with it it's a draper header so the the trailed unit folds away into the header itself you don't need a separate header trailer and it is absolutely filthy because it has come from some trial hours on another farm. This is something that dealer Dan at the New Holland dealership has sorted out for us. So uh, we're gonna give it a trial with a view to using it to replace the bison. If we like it, dealer Dan will cut us a deal on it. Right, I'm going to hop in and I think we'll just shoot down the road to field 118 and try and get that harvested first because I need to feed the chickens. The pallet of food ran out this morning and left the trough about half full so I need to get our wheat harvested so that we can feed these chickens. Now, I'll be honest, I wouldn't normally tow the header behind the harvester like this, just because the harvester's quite a cumbersome unit on its own, and adding 30 foot plus a drawbar of tra header trailer and what have you on the back, just, is, is something that's going to get caught on gates and such like. Field 118 is not very far so I'll just tow it down here for now. I also don't have a Susie to tow the header behind me with a tractor.
managed to get into the field okay with it on the back. I, you might have noticed some footage went missing. I am still on my own, unfortunately. Um, Susie's a bit caught up with with life and family and what have you, so she hasn't made it out to join me yet. I've grabbed the T8 and our Roland trailer to unload the harvester into. I was going to get the 8340, but I think Susie's got the keys in her pocket, so um, I couldn't. So we've got the T8, um, I quite like the T8, you know, it has a really nice noise to it. Let's not complain on that. So hopefully Susie will have joined me at some point before the end of this harvest. Hello, I'm back on my own again unfortunately. Susie did join me for a bit to finish this field, but she's had to go. So I'm going to go, chuck a bit into the chickens, put the rest in the silo. I think we'll fit the extension bars on the side of this trailer again, because the New Holland has a nice high pipe. I'll get everything else moved over to field two and we will start our harvest of the oats for oat standing foods. I have a little idea of how I can get the header over there and I want to see if it's going to work so bear with me if you see something a bit funky coming up. brilliantly. I just thought let's have a go with the beast we've got it here. It's got a decent amount of horsepower on it. That little thing has more horsepower on it than the rigid tracks that we used on La Coronea. So it's got some grunt and it's only a header trailer to pull around so yeah I thought that'd be quite nice and fun and it's also quite fast which you know very amusing. Yeah, I'm just going to 
get on with doing this I'm going to put some headland in down the bottom here and then we will get on to the main land work I'm hoping Susie's going to join me at that point I might get bailing some of this straw Hello again, quick update for you. Susie has managed to join. Paul's not feeling very well, he's got a bit of a cold and lots of snot as I can definitely attest to I'm covered in it. Wasn't really wanting to let her go. Um, didn't want to be left with his grandparents when he's feeling a bit under the weather. I don't blame him quite frankly. Um, so yeah. Susie has managed to leave him with the grandparents and I've grabbed the 8340 keys off her. She's running the combine on field two. I am getting this straw baled up. I want to try and get as much of this baled up as possible and get it into bales because they can be very quickly whipped off the field and put into a shed if it does start raining. Whereas, to start bailing at that point is just, it's, it's going to end in tears if it does get to that point. So I want to try and get as much cleared and done as possible. Hello again. I have joined Susie on field two. She is still chugging along with the harvester. I am doing two jobs. I am swapping tractors when needs be to empty the harvester with the trailer. And I'm also bailing the straw, kind of trying to do two things at once, get both jobs done a bit quicker. Um, I have swapped the tractors, as you might have noticed. I did start running the 8340 in this field, but because of the way it is, going in this direction that we're currently going in, it's uphill, and the 8340 was just struggling a bit, trying to tow the baler uphill. So I just swapped the tractors over, and the T8 is coping really well. There's plenty of power in her to run this baler. So, 
I am going to get on because I will inevitably have to swap very soon. Sure thing, I'll just swap tractors, I'll be with you after you've turned. Well that was the signal from Susie. I'm going to stop this tractor just here, hop out, jump into the other tractor and I'm going to go down to the other end while she's turning around and we'll run up this row. Looking at time today and the risk of rain coming in later, I think the focus is going to be after we finish this we're going to get the straw off the field get all the straw bales off this field and field 118 we've still got six left to harvest that is ready to go but that will have to wait for now can you get the pipe out ready uh, where's that it should be on the control screen up with the windrow. Okay, I'm in position. Boats are loading now. Okay. This is going quite smoothly. That is good. So, as I was saying, field six with our linseed, that's going to have to wait. We've also got our soybeans, corn and alfalfa to harvest but none of those fields are ready for harvesting yet so I'm hoping they will come in the next couple of days before the bad weather hits otherwise we're gonna lose the crop unfortunately but hopefully that won't happen we've got another four days of hopefully good weather to get this done we're nearly done on here which is great well, we've already done two full trailers from this field. Thank you. So, I think this is a fantastic time to call it an end to the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please jump on the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Share the video with your friends. But most importantly of all, have a great day.